She is importunate, indeed distract. Her mood will need to be pitied. What would she have? She speaks much of her father. She says she hears there's tricks in the world, and hems and beats her heart. Sprints emulously at straws. Speaks things in doubt they carry but half sense. Uh, her speech is nothing, yet the unshaped use of it doth move the hearers to collection. They aim at it and botch the words up to fit their own thoughts, which, as her winks and nods and gestures, yield them. Indeed, they would make one think that there might be thought, though nothing sure, yet much unhappily. For good she were spoken with, for she made shrewd dangerous conjectures in ill bringing mind. Let her come in. To my sick soul, a sin's true nature is. Each twice seems to prolong some great amiss. So full of artless jealousy is guilt. It spills itself in fear of being spilt.
Christ could call to my father, Brand the Harlot. Calmly now, Laertes. Where is my father? What? What is the cause, Laertes, that thy rebellion looks so giant-like? Do not fear our person. There such divinity doth hedge a king, that treason can but peep to what it would. Act little of his will. Tell me, Laertes, thou, why thou thus incessant? Where is my father? Dead. How came he dead? I'll not be juggled with to hell, alliance, conscience, and grace to the profoundest pit. I dare damnation! To this I point, I stand that both the world I give to negligence. Let come what comes, only all be revenged. Who shall stay you? My will, not all the world, and for my means, I'll husband them so well, they shall go with little. Good Laertes, if you desire to know the uncertainty of your father's, of your dear father's death, it is right in your revenge that swoop state. You will draw both from their foe. None but enemies. How will you know them then? To his good friends this wide, I'll open my arms and like the kind life-rendering pelican, repass them with my blood. Why, now you speak like a good child and a true gentleman, that I am guiltless in your father's death and I am most sensible in grief for it? Uh, it shall as level to your judgment appear as day goes does your eyes. How now? What noise is that? Tear seven times salt. Burn out the sense of virtue of mine eye. By heaven, thy madness shall be paid by weight till our scale turn. The beam, dear maid, kind sister, sweet Ophelia. Oh heavens, it's possible a young maid's wit should be mortal as an old man's life. Nature is fine in love, and where tis fine, it sends some precious instance of itself after thing it loves. They bore him fair face. Hey, nanny, 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 hey. Farewell you, my dove. They bore him fair face. Hey, nanny, 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 hey, nanny. And in his grave rained many tears. Farewell, my love. Dove. Hadst thou thy wits, and it didst persuade revenge, if could not move thus? You must sing. A down, a down. And you call him a down, a down, a. Oh, how the wheel becomes it. It is the false steward, and they stole the master's daughter. This nothing's more than matter. There's rosemary. That's for remembrance. Pray you, my love. Remember. And there's pansies. That's the thought. A document in madness, thought and remembrance fitted. There's a, a funnel for you. And columbines. That's room for you. And there's some for me. We may call it her and grace for Sundays. Oh, you must wear your room with a difference. There's a daisy. And I would give you some violets. They wither, and all when my father died, they say he made a good end. For a bond, you speak ribbon and all the Thought and affliction, passion, hell itself, she turns to favor and to prettiness. And he will not come again. No, no, he's dead! Go half thy deathbed. He never will come again. He's gone and win, and we cast away the moon. Moan. God have mercy on his soul. All of the Christian soul. I pray God be with thee. Do you see this? 
I must commune with your grief, or you deny me right. But go, but go, but apart. Make choice of whom your wisest friends you will. And if they shall hear and judge twixt you and me, if by direct or collateral hand they find us touched, we will our kingdom give, our crown, our life, and all that we call ours. But to you, in satisfaction, but if not, you be you content to lead your patience to us. And we shall jointly labor with your soul and give us and give it your content. Let this be so, he means of death, his obscure funeral. No trophy, swoop, sword, nor hatchment over his bones. No noble right, no formal ostentation. Cry to be heard as twere from heaven to earth. That I must call a question. So you shall. And where the offense is, let the 